before I get too far into it, I definitely want to um, start with like one of the softballs, and that is sort of like um, this whole situation with Marvel, and they've dropped a little bit of information on uh, Loki and when it's going to premiere and um, some of those kinds of things. I, I, I just thought it was very strange how they're just kind of like kind of like sneak some things in on us kind of thing. Like it was just kind of weird. Um, I also think that there's just some rumors and some stuff that's happening that it was worthy of having a conversation. So the first thing is, is the show does premiere um, October October 6th, it's going to be sort of episodic like it's been. So nothing really new to report there um, in that in that regard. Um, it's funny how they try to um, do these little teases. So this is one of the ones that people are kind of talking about. So since sort of like the comic book side, the speculator side, this is one that people are talking about. I don't know why. This is a character called uh, Zaniac. Zaniac is like um, he basically can possess a human and murder them. And he's a, he's a, he's more of a Thor villain, but it's sort of like this weird movie poster that sort of dropped. And it's like, well, he's going to be in it. And suddenly people are out there buying his first appearance in Thor. So Thor 319. I'm like, okay, well, guys, this is not who cares about Zaniac. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to tell people if you have Thor 319, now is your time to move Thor 319, I guess. I, I don't know what to say. I don't have any sort of like druthers that this is going to be some sort of monumental um, uh, investment or uh, flip for you guys. So uh, I really, really hated the original show. I have to be perfectly honest. I'm in that camp of people who did not like the original. I thought season one is a complete debacle. It's a complete waste of my time. Um, I, I could not believe how they destroyed 20 something films in like one episode. It was just, it was terrible, but you know, I'm a masochist. I'll be there. I'll watch it. Tell you watch it. So you don't have to is my, uh, motto in that regard. So here's another one of these random teases. This is another character again, extremely obscure. This is like this movie cinema background stuff that they're going with. This character is called phone ranger. It's from a book called, um, Marvel Age Annual Number One. It's actually a pretty old book. It's uh, 1985. It's a it's a Kurt Busiek book, which is you know he's a great writer. It's the second appearance of Silver Sable, which is probably more important than whatever Phone Ranger is. This dude's costume is just absurd. Like it's a, it's this absurd costume. There's there's one of the promo banners they sent us. Here's his costume. It's like literal a phone and a phone around his neck, and it's like what on earth. And he somehow has like super powered alien tech or something. I, I really don't feel like any of these are going to sort of matter in the grand scheme of Loki. And it's going to be more about like, you know, whatever this whole Kang thing will be and how it will kind of play out is what we're going to expect. But it's, it's, it's let's be honest, guys, it's going to be a lot of lady Loki and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, Dean, I don't know anything about, um, <laughs> that that issue i would have to ask james mealy he would he's my encyclopedia when it comes to that kind of stuff i don't i don't and i don't think there's any reason to expect them to be relevant or anything like that it's just one of those things like because in she hulk they had like that therapy episode where it was suddenly a reason to cram in like four or five obscure marvel quote villains but yeah i i don't i don't know it's just absurd so Hey, Chris, how you doing, buddy? Uh, wow, Phone Ranger makes Dial H for Hero from DC look freaking awesome. Yeah, I know. I know. Marvel has, well, both both the companies do. They have just some absurd characters and things like that. So, but yeah, this is the issue. It's a double size annual, annual number one. Actually, it's a kind of a cool book in the sense it's got like a wraparound type cover with all these different heroes and things like that. I remember having this at some point, but I don't, I don't have this book anymore, so... Um, other than that, it's there's not a lot of sort of like real news associated with the show other than this October premiere date. I think that it's probably fair to assume that we'll have some information relatively before then, but I don't think it's going to be anything that's you know particularly groundbreaking or anything like that. Now, I don't know, guys. Is it just one of those things where you know you don't even care about Loki or not anymore? Am I, you know, I I, I know I'm a masochist because it's such a horrible show. Hey, Buckcrap Media, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing all right, man. 
So yeah, feel free. And and Mr. Buttcrack, um, if you uh, you're a member, so if you want to just come on hanging out here, just let me know. I'll figure out how to get you a link. Um, let's see, Bobby, that's not going to uh, win anybody back. No, I don't think so. And I think that the thing is too, Bobby. I don't I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think almost everyone, um, is sort of like in this sort of like I'll stream it when it's over kind of phase. I don't think there's really anybody out there who's like, oh, I can't wait to watch this. I can want to watch it every week. I can't wait for the next one to land. Those kinds of things. Um, so yeah, I don't, I just don't expect it to be that. I just don't expect it to be that, that type of stuff. So um, let's see. Let's okay. So then we have to kind of shift gears because the other part of all of this was the fact that, um, Oh, Mr. Buttcrest is doing good. Doing good. Awesome, man. It's great. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad we're hanging out too. It's, it's fun. It's always good to hang out here. So yeah. Got rid of Disney Plus. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I don't they don't have any of my money. So I have uh access to stuff for free as a reviewer. I'll be able to watch it so you don't have to. So if you uh want to kind of keep up to date, I can't tell you if, it, if this stuff's gonna drop at like a Wednesday at 3 a.m. You're not gonna get a real time review. That's just Wednesday is an awful day for me because now I've switched to comic book Wednesdays. Then I do Throwback Thursdays. So there's not a really good place for me to drop a video like that, and it's not something that everybody's gonna be caring about. But I'll, they'll probably drop on Friday. I'll probably get to them at that point. Ah!